for head coach Alan Marcina since he took over San Antonio FC back in December. But with the coronavirus pandemic wreaking havoc on major league sports around the U.S., the challenge has been trying to cultivate that family bond through other means. Luckily, the entire team is still waiting out the USL's hiatus in the Alamo City. And as Andrew Sealer reports, they found plenty of ways to stay active together. <laughs> It's a new routine for SAFC these days. The team starts every morning off with a Zoom call so that coaches and players can stay connected. For the first couple weeks, we weren't doing no Zoom calls, so you know it was a little, it was a little more disconnected. And then once we got back in the Zoom calls, you can tell everybody wanted to be around each other and sort of missed, you know, missed, uh, missed the banter and just hanging out and stuff. So it was great to, uh, it's great to get back doing that. Of course, the biggest focus is exercise. There might not be a timetable for when the season will resume, but that doesn't mean the players aren't keeping their bodies in tip-top shape. A lot of calisthenics that we, we got some, like everyone has balls now, they do some ball work just in their apartments. Um, and then just ex like normal body weight, mostly body weight exercises, resistance band type stuff. And there's also some some runs that, that the guys will go on on their own, uh, that they have like certain targets that they should like look to hit. The team is also spending time playing games with one another. Video games, sure, but Gorski has a special connection to a Danish board game called Partners that he first came across when he was playing for Tisted FC last season. I'm the distributor for that game in North America. Last year when I was in Denmark, I played this game and I couldn't find it anywhere in the US and it just so happened that I started talking to my teammate. I was asking him like, what's the deal with this game? I can't find it anywhere. Long story short, he ends up telling me it's Denmark's like number one board game. My teammate had previously been contacted by the publishing house because they gave, a, they gave the game a shout out once upon a time. And so through him, we got in touch with the with the publishing house. We had a great call. We really hit it. I, you know, I hit it off with those guys, and so they, you know, we agreed to do a deal where I would become the exclusive distributor for USA and Canada for for this game. Gorski introduced the game to his teammates on their first preseason road trip. Now it's a staple. They were like, "Anybody have a game?" And I was like, "Yeah, I have a game. We can play." I taught them how to play, and like they really just took it from there, and they loved it. And then I, I told them the backstory, and they got excited about that. And they were, you know, they're they're awesome. When when you talk about a family, like they're so like willing to like help me with it, and they want to promote it with me. They want to get, you know, they want to like tell their friends about it um, because they really, I mean, they had a great time with it also. So it, it's great to have their support, like in any venture that I'm that I'm or anybody else in the team is pursuing. Keep finding ways to keep yourself busy, yeah. and working out and in shape. There we go. Now we're now we're. Are we ready fiesta. for fiesta? I think so. River parade tonight, seven o'clock. So so is that they launch. We are. are. Look at him. Wow. That's right. Look at this. It feels like fiesta out here, right? It sure does. <laughs> we are all decorated. We've got last year's sashes on, and we are ready to have a great time all week long. Yes, because fried Oreos, chicken on a stick, it is that time of year. Lots of restaurants and businesses want to help bring the help, help you bring the party home with fiesta packs. We're going to share one spot that's helping you get into the Fiesta spirit. Hey, a Fiesta metal wreath, how to make this must have Fiesta decoration that can go from decorating you to decorating your home. And bringing the Fiesta spirit to those who need it the most, check out a special performance from a local dance and mariachi group. And it's a really creative way for all of us to take part in this year's Stay at Home River Parade. Yes, and this week is all about bringing Fiesta home. So we want to know, how are you celebrating Fiesta at home? You know, are you decorating? Are, you know, how are you getting into the Fiesta spirit? Yeah, because, of course, we are going to be re-airing all of last year's parades. Of course, the River Parade is going to be aired tonight. We've got Battle of Flowers next Friday. Flambeau is going to be next uh, Saturday night. And then also the band festival is going to be re-aired re -aired, I believe next Sunday so have yourself a party a lot of people have been having all the virtual cocktail parties at home on zoom do that with a fiesta party all the decorations just have a lot of fun it's going yes. to take your mind off everything it feels like it's fiesta right now yes so let us know how you are getting into the fiesta spirit or celebrating at home let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter and you may see your photo or answer in the show in a few minutes we even have cascaronis too <laughs> wouldn't be fiesta without them that and much more coming up on SA Live stick around Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. One local couple celebrating their pregnancy fiesta style. Liz and Justin Sanderson are expecting their baby on November 11th. Right in the middle of the fiesta festivals. When their friends from out of state come to visit. 
They knew they had to celebrate accordingly. So the Sandersons decided to throw their own fiesta celebration. They had games, they set up a photo shoot, even had chicken on a stick. The Sandersons say they will still celebrate fiesta come November. Gotta have chicken on a stick. Can't go wrong with that. Mm-hmm. All right, quick check of the forecast. We're at 87 right now, so 92 this afternoon, mostly sunny. We'll start off with some patchy fog tomorrow, some clouds. 10% uh, chance of a shower storm tomorrow. A little better chance Wednesday afternoon. 86 degrees and then some warm weather to finish out the week before a slight cool down over the weekend. But we will see more humidity next couple of days. Guys, put your, put your hat on. I know. Celebrate. Get ready. Fiesta week. There we go. Y'all, it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Looks pretty good. We know they're celebrating out in the garden. Mike and Fiona, they're doing their fiesta upright. And it starts right now. Nice hat. Fried Oreos, chicken on a stick, it's that time of year. How you can bring those tasty treats straight to your home. Plus, enjoying Fiesta from your tub. Sounds strange, but everything's a bit different this year. We're getting in on this one-of-a-kind event. And we're, getting, we're creating a Fiesta decoration that every metal collector is going to want to see and do. SA Live's Fiesta at Home week starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Oh, hello and happy Monday. Well, we are kicking off Fiesta at home with our beautiful Fiesta set from Amals. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. We have been talking about it, we've been anticipating it, and now our Fiesta at Home party starts. And as you mentioned, look at this beautiful set. This is fantastic. It's so colorful, it really gets you in the Fiesta spirit, you know? Yep. And this is all from Amos, mm -hmm. and you can find a link to their website online. And you can pick stuff up, you know, why not decorate at home? Why not get out your old metal sash from last year? I had so much fun, you know, looking to go, oh, I remember that one. I remember that one. I know. <laughs> okay. And, of course, at Amos, you can uh, throw your graduate a huge celebration at home, too. I mean, you can really find so much for any celebration you want to do at home. There's a link to their website on ours. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay, we want to see all of your pictures because this is going to be going on. This is the Fest Fiesta at Home Week, so send those pictures in. Is it all your decorations? Is it your metal sash from last year? The virtual party that you're having? Send it to us at SA Live on Facebook and Instagram, and hopefully we're going to try and get it on the air yeah, for you. You yeah. might see your photo, so yep. go ahead and try. All right, well, lots of restaurants and businesses want to help you bring the party home with Fiesta packs. Some even include the coveted chicken on a stick. That's what we're missing right now. I knew there was something going on. Hey, no more waiting in line for hours. The Rustic is showing you how simple it is to bring this iconic Fiesta snack right to your home. So right now the Rustic's going through basically what every other restaurant in San Antonio is going through, uh, which is a transformation uh, from dining into curbside or delivery. Uh, right now we're tapped into DoorDash in favor uh, from a delivery aspect. You know, we're doing everything we can to just uh, really generate some revenue and, uh, and stay relevant in this very, very crazy time. So we're fully aware that, man, Fiesta started this week. If well, it would have been Fiesta. Uh, and ever since April 1st, we've wanted to really connect with our customer and we completely understand that our guest is missing this. So we wanted to get chicken on a stick into the hand of the, every San Antonio uh, person as soon as possible. So we've uh, invented a Fiesta pack. Our Fiesta pack is $17. You get a plate of nachos, two chicken on a stick with two pickles jalapenos and four fried Oreos. For an additional uh, $17 you can get two turkey legs. So specifically these items are just kind of native to Fiesta. I mean it really is something that because people can't go downtown and and celebrate uh, Fiesta we've decided to create something here uh, to that you can actually bring home and and uh, and celebrate with your family at the house while everybody's still quarantined. Uh, we understand that Fiesta is an important part of San Antonio culture um, and, and we want to be involved in that. So uh, this is what we did to really kind of promote the month of April through Fiesta. Uh, April 30th will be the last day. 
Uh, the best way to get it is to call 210-245-7500 uh, or you can get it uh, through our website online. Really we wanted to stay connected with the guests as much as possible and through that uh, we've also started a virtual market and beer barn. Uh, our virtual market sells uh, grocery essentials, um, it also sells uh, heat and eat options, take and make options, alcohol kits, you know anything to really uh, make it easier for the consumer to get the things that they need. Anywhere from broccoli to toilet paper to burger buns. I mean, we have it and we're ready to serve you. So every Sunday in April, uh, our founder and owner, Kyle Noonan, will be doing Kyle's Kitchen uh, from his very own kitchen. And he will be making rustic favorites. Uh, and right after, he will also do a little mixology class. Um, just so we can stay engaged with the guests. And then because live music is such an important part of what the Rustic is, uh, we will have also a very small uh, show afterwards on his patio in which it'll just be the singer. But, you know, we're trying to support our local musicians who are going through a very tough time right now too. So there'll be a way that you can leave tips virtually or maybe perhaps buy some merchandise of this, uh, of this musician online during the show. Uh, it's really a, a, a way that we can continue our partnership with our, our musicians that are uh, hurting just like we are. Well, The Rustic is one of many restaurants doing this, these Fiesta Packs. For a link to their website and a few others, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, it sounds like a strange duo, bathtubs and parades. But anything yeah. is possible in these different times, right? <laughs> okay, true. It's actually a really creative way for folks to take part in this year's stay-at-home river parade. Yeah, you know, and like we talk about all the different Zoom parties, why not have your own river parade and we are going to show you how to make some of your own river barges so we've got just uh, you know some shoe boxes here and what we've done on the bottom of this one you could probably use maybe some saran wrap and tape it on there but this is a bunch of duct tape and hopefully it would waterproof the box a little bit more and of course then you've got to think about the decorations mm -hmm. and you've got those yes. pretty little flowers this is a great way to put these flowers on a float yes so all you need is just some tissue paper that you've cut up into little squares you take a pencil okay and use the eraser end to kind of shape your little tissue paper flower then you can take a glue stick which will probably work better than regular glue yeah okay and then you can just stick it right there look at that and it stays okay and you just kind of keep going all the way while you make your little decorations and then of course you can top off your float with any other fiestifying objects you might find. I like that, mm -hmm. you know, and what I was thinking about mm -hmm. is why not then, after you do the float in the river parade mm -hmm. tonight, then find some wheels or something, maybe even a skateboard, and put that on there, and then you can have a float for the Battle ah, of Flowers coming Double duty, up. yes. Yeah, yes. And, and the flambeau. Put some lights on it for the flambeau. This is, I love this little trick with the flowers and if you keep going but look at how those things turn out that's just fantastic those little roses on there right and this is a great thing for the kids to do because everybody's been kind of looking for an activity to do fun little family event you can do it outside just make sure all your tissue paper doesn't blow away right. just buy some of this uh, and a lot of good fiesta packs too all the different colors on the on the tissue paper and also instead of doing the the glue on each and every time I did a little line of glue and oh, if you can look at you that's genius well, if you did can you just catch do it, a strip of glue yeah if you can catch it before it completely dries uh-huh and you so just gotta work a here, little you gotta work quick yeah you gotta work quick or maybe you can you know work as a team uh -huh. and mom and dad can put the glue down and then the kids and just like that, See, now this I'm trying your, your, I just did a little bit of a strip. Is so simple to I do. And I didn't go all the way across so that it won't dry. I need I just did a little a bit. little sombrero See? on here. Oh, look at how fast this is going now. Okay. Yeah. And we'll do this right there in the middle. I got metals that jingle, jingle, and jingle. You're gonna put the sombrero right there. That's <laughs> There's great. the sound that you only get at Fiesta. <laughs> Yes, you've been jingling all morning. <laughs> uh, anyway, hey, oh. 
So this is a great idea. And again, do it for the uh, River Parade tonight. You can do that. Also, uh, keep looking out because now the, the entries have closed, mm -hmm. but the uh, River Parade Commission had folks send in some of these. You videoed or put it on, uh, take pictures you of had your to phone. Submit. Yeah, you had to yeah. submit the float you made at home by noon today, I believe. Right. So that's over with. But then they're going to put it together, I think, by the it's, end of April. It's the 30th. Yeah. So I believe it's Thursday. And you can find information on that on the Riverwalks Facebook page. And they've posted a link to that event for the, for the virtual river parade. Right. And we've talked about it a few times, but don't forget tonight, KSAT will rebroadcast last year's river parade. It starts at 7 o'clock. It's going to be hosted, of course, by Myra and David. They always do a fantastic job with that. And I think Caskey's got his uh, confetti cannon down there as well. And then, of course, Friday, we have an SA Live special, Battle of Flowers pre-show. That's live from 1 to 2. And then the parade starts at 2 p.m. Saturday, the Flambeau Parade starts at 7 p.m. And Sunday, the band festival begins at noon. So don't miss a single second. And we just want to point out that a lot of the advertising, the majority of it, is dedicated to all of the nonprofits that are associated with the with Fiesta, and so the, hopefully you can watch and maybe donate to yeah. all those nonprofits because yeah, that's what's all about. Of course, need those funds. Yes, the party with the purpose. Yes. All right. Still ahead on SA Live, how big of a Fiesta fan are you? We're about to put you to the test to see if you really know the city's biggest party. But first, everyone's going to be asking, "Hey, where'd you get that? How to make this must-have Fiesta decoration?" It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, has your Fiesta metal collection outgrown your stash? No need to store. Vest? Yes. Yeah. Cause, and they get heavy after a while too, like this one is, but no need to storm away because those metals that have been decorating you can now decorate your home. Yes, and you have a great idea, and I love this. And where, where did the idea come from? Because I've always, I mean, I have sashes, and people have been so generous to always give us medals every year, and sashes full of medals, and you know, they're hanging in a closet somewhere. It's like, well, what can I do with it? You know, I don't want to throw them, I don't want to stick them in a bag or something like right. that, and I thought, maybe, come up with a metal wreath. It's just, I, I don't know, I may, somebody may have made one, but here's how I did it. Take a look. Well, the base of the wreath is going to be plywood. It's strong enough to hold the weight of some of these Fiesta metals. I've got a scrap laying around here. It's about a half an inch thick. You can actually buy just a two foot by two foot piece of this. It's about the right size at the uh, home center. You gotta make a circle, do it the old fashioned way. Measure corner to corner, Sink a screw or a nail right in the middle, and then you get a piece of uh, twine, fishing line, something like that, and put the other end in a pencil, make your perfect circle. I'm gonna cover the wooden circle in the old metal sash, and I want it obviously just that wide, so put one edge up against the circle I drew, and then just mark the other, and I'll draw another circle. All you have to do is just shorten the string. All right, time to cut out our base of the wreath, and don't forget, anytime you're using power tools, safety goggles are definitely a must. So I've got the outside circle cut out, now I've got to cut the inside circle. If you take your jigsaw, stand it on the toe of the shoe right there, and start it up and barely push down. That blade will slowly sink in there and that's gonna cut a slot and you can get the whole circle started then. Watch. And we have the base of our wreath. And it's wide enough to where I can take the sash, fold that over both the outside edge right there, so it's gonna have a nice edge on it, as well as the inside edge. And I think the best way to attach it, the good old hot glue gun. All right, so I've got the entire sash glued to the outside edge of the wooden frame, and 
a little bit left over down here. I may attach some metals there. Now, I left the inside unglued right now because I think it's going to be easier to attach the metals if I can kind of get my fingers in behind it. Then I'll glue, tack the inside edge and get that all glued on and work my way from bottom up to the top. So two, two and a half hours just putting the metals on this and two big long glue sticks later and I think it looks kind of nice. It was fun to sort of look back at the metals from a couple of years ago, reminisce somewhat, and get them all glued on there. Kind of fun. Great way to uh, sort of save your metals and you can bring them out year after year. This is much better than your tripod prototype. <laughs> <laughs> Both serve a purpose. So. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. That looks so cool. I mean, it looked cool in the video. Thank you. It looks even neater in person. And I did pin every metal on, and then I tacked each metal with some hot glue oh, on it. the back of them so they all stay in place and they'll hopefully stay on there. And then just to uh, hang it, I just uh, drilled the hole kind of up at an angle in the back side and you can put that on a nail. It is kind of heavy though, and if you have a lot of metals on here, I mean, this weighs a bit, so make sure you use something pretty hefty to, uh, to hook it to a wall or something like that. But, and uh, I don't know. I, Very I, nice I work. Like I had fun you, looking at the old metals. Can you make me one if I give you all my metals? Okay. <laughs> that looks really time consuming. I don't have that you kind gotta, of time. Got to get in line behind the news director. She already <laughs> asked her once. So. Hey, still ahead. If you love corn in a cup, just wait till you taste it in a taco form. Check out these easy ways to bring Fiesta flavors to your kitchen. It's one of our favorite Fiesta memories. And next, we're facing off over Fiesta facts, and you can play along at home in Fiesta Parade Trivia. That's straight ahead. Live. Well, many of us here in SA love our Fiesta, but how well do we really know it? Time to put on your thinking cap. We're going to test your Fiesta facts knowledge a little bit with a little trivia to raise the stakes. Whoever gets the question wrong, since we have to social distance, you crack a cascaroni on your own head. Like when was this. the last time you did? That's what's going to happen. A little lower because it's blown off. So. Is it? Oh, yeah. darn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First question, play along at home. Which is the oldest Fiesta event? Is there it the, the Lambo the Parade, Battle mm -hmm. of Flowers, Fiesta Fiesta, or Niosa? What do you say? Battle of Flowers. I, I say Battle of Flowers too. So I kind of remember. And the oldest that. is up. Yes! Battle of Flowers. Oh, oh, yes, okay, so far. We're safe. Still holding this. All, All right, right, so next question. This one is true or false. This year is the first time Fiesta has been postponed. I would say false. I think it didn't get not in during World War II, I think. I don't, wouldn't that be canceled? Did it ever, I would say true that it's the first time it's postponed. It is false. It was postponed oh, during World War okay. One and Two. Okay. okay, I thought it was just. So go, with, go. Okay, all right. Now you're missing in the back. Am I? Oh, darn. Bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question. <laughs> Which one? Uh, used to be a, oh wait, which event is the largest? Sorry about this, where are we here? Yeah, that's correct. That's uh, the correct question, right? Yeah, wait. Okay, yes. which, uh, which Flambeau, parade, Battle of which Flowers. Which is the largest? I would say Battle of Flowers? Uh, I think As Battle of Flowers. I know Flambeau is the largest nighttime, nighttime parade. parade. I think Battle of Flowers like is bigger. Illuminated parade, right. Yes! Ah, okay. Okay. Whew. All right. I haven't gotten one wrong with you. I know, I know. Okay, all right, here's the next question. It is which one used to be Fiesta royalty. There are the choices on the screen. Oh man. King Oakhead. Okay, King I'm just gonna use Amalone. the I I honestly don't know, so I'm gonna go when in doubt mark C. I'm gonna guess C <laughs> first. I'll say no. King uh Ocat. No way that worked! <laughs> you did? Ah! Cascaron! Ah. Yes, yes, hey! Tomato How did backwards. You keep okay. me? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, all right. Uh, true or false? Synchronized swimming used to be a fiesta event. I say false. Unless they were synchronized I don't swimming know. in it the, seems, in the it river. Seems, it seems specific enough. It seems so specific and random enough that I would say I would say true if I'm gonna guess. Because ah! <laughs> it's so 
It's like synchronized swimming. What? Yes! <laughs> Are they still blow in my direction? Okay. All right, next question. Where are we? Oh, Nyosa was once called. Okay, there are the choices on the screen. What do you think? Uh, it was huh. Texas Fest or Alamo Festival, Cultural Festival. I will say it was the Alamo Festival. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna. Wow, B or D, B or D, B or D. I'm if gonna you go wait with long you on enough, Alamo. The will come up, I'm not Fiona. sure. I'll go Alamo. I'll go B. All right, which one is it? Oh, it oh, was River D. Fest. No. All right, here, let's break one. They still oh, go in my direction. in your direction, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one? True or false, you can host a private party at Nyosa. I think true. true? I think there's some yeah. of those buildings back in there you can host a true? private party. It's all a blur, Nyosa. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> it's all a blur. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, the next question is, oh, what, what are we at? What's the, the six official oh. Fiesta parades. Or are, there right. are six official. True or false? True or false. Six official Fiesta parades. I think Fish true, shawl. the three big ones. Because there I, are three big ones, right? So I would, I would. Man. And there's, true. there's pooch parades, there's other parades. True. Um, I think there's one at. No! Uh, oops, <laughs> blew your direction and again. Again, my direction. Hey, just in case, tiebreaker, what was the first year of the Battle died? of Flowers parade? <laughs> the closest answer, I'm gonna say uh, 1920. Just as a guess. 1899. And the answer is. 1891? I can't remember this from my first year here. Okay. I oh, knew it was something. It blew your direction again. Sorry about that. I'm just doing that for fun. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, <laughs> satisfying your fiesta fix. See how easy it is to make these creative recipes. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be doing a hydroclean process on the indoor coil, the blower wheel, and then also the outdoor condensing unit. So, part of what we do is once we open that system up, I'm looking for general cleanliness. Um, and there's actually quite a bit of microbial growth inside this system. Uh, so this is a perfect candidate for HydroClean. This is the microbial growth uh, that accumulates inside of systems. This is, uh, part of this microbial growth is going to affect the indoor air quality for the family inside the home, but also it's going to start to affect the performance of the system. If it starts to get completely restrictive of that coil, uh, the airflow will be reduced thus affecting the efficiency of the system and start to cause higher utility bills and uh, lower that comfort level inside the home. So right now we're going to be removing the blower wheel and assembly. That way uh, that can also be cleaned out. So we got this cleaning agent here. It's 100% natural. Um, it, it actually comes from the same company that made the HydroClean. It's completely safe. Um, it's not, no chemicals or anything like that. It's, it's uh, kind of like the equivalent of a citrus cleaner, 100% safe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the coil down. That way we can loosen up any type of microbial growth, but also it can help kill it. So that way, whenever we go to the HydroClean process, it comes right off. Put a little bit in the drain because the drain is also where a lot of uh, gunk is. So we're gonna wash that out also. So now we're gonna just start pressure washing the, the coil surface. It washes that microbial growth right off of the system. So we're now we're gonna be uh, hydro cleaning all the microbial growth and build it on that blower wheel completely off. We've cleaned the indoor coil, the blower wheel, and then also the outdoor condensing unit. And now this family is nice and clean. And now on to the next job. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you are looking at our fabulous Fiesta decorations on our set here in the KSAT backyard. And we have Amol's, of course, to thank for all these Fiesta decorations. And of course, you can find information of, on them on our website at salive.com. This is our way of doing Fiesta at home, our home here, and we want you to decorate and send us your pictures. Hey, along with all the decorations, of course, all the good food. We've all had corn in a cup before. Mm -hmm. Oh, that good old street corn. But have you ever had it in taco form? For those of you who really have those creative dishes, you just gotta make it yourself. You yes, know? and here's one of our favorite segments from last year's Fiesta with some of the most creative recipes. Can my mouth water I anymore? Know. The, oh my goodness the food gracious. Looks amazing. <laughs> Leo Davila. I, didn't want to wreck the I was dying to get it in my hands on that. Award-winning chef Leo Davila hey joining guys, how are us. So I, a lot of people love all the fiesta food and sometimes they think, well I can't make this at home. Yeah, exactly. But so it's not 
It's, it's not out of reach. Right? Okay. It's definitely not out of reach. So we're going to go through three different things today. Uh, so we're going to do a play on a fruit in a cup. So it's going to be grilled skewers, okay. uh, grilled fruit with a little bit of white chocolate and a candied jalapeno. Ooh. So Mike's going to get that working. What, uh, wait, white chocolate, candied. Where did you come up with this? Uh, so it's I've beautiful. been on a really big sweet and savory kick. Okay. Um, as long as it's not overly sweet. So same thing with our jams. They're a little bit more of a citrus flavor. Okay. Uh, that's really where it came from. Just having that, that balance yes. uh, really just tickles my palate, so to and, speak. And you know, the thing about this is it doesn't, whatever fruit you like, right? Absolutely. And, and anything tastes good anything. grill. And, and a lot of people don't know you can grill fruit, right? I, Absolutely. I so this try is this meant to be outside chocolate. on the grill. So grill them up. Uh, you'll finish it with a pickled jalapeno as well. Kind of reminiscent of that chicken on a stick. And that's not too sweet, the, cho the white chocolate? No, no. White chocolate is definitely not too sweet. And then how long would you grill this? If so you stay on the grill outside? have a lot of water content, so you'd want to be careful on those. But about three to five minutes, get some color on them, kind of like how we did on the front, and you'll be good to go. Okay. And just yeah, white bit. chocolate. So then, Jen, while we get that going, so we talked about award winning. Yeah. Uh, very own David Elder. I'm going to heat these up real quick. Ooh, was actually ooh, one ooh. of the judges at this taco contest. So uh, he's actually tried it. He can verify us. Oh, he did tell me about this yeah, this so morning. We're okay. going to throw a little bit of the strawberry jam right on the bottom. Awesome. Once again, like I said, I'm all about that sweet and savory kick on it. Strawberry jam. Strawberry Who'd jam. Who'd have thought? That. Okay. And then we're going to add our smoked cream corn. So who doesn't love corn in a cup? So we oh, actually wow. did our take of a smoked cream corn. Uh, I, shout I out know. to my mom for her recipe. Ooh. Also, my little sister, it's her birthday today. She's down here at the market She's with here us. today. Hi. Cheering you on. Happy birthday. And then right here, so Hunter, he's one of my main guys. We have a hatch green chili picadillo. Okay. Uh, he's from New Mexico. So we do that hatch green chili right on top. I I'm still fascinated with the strawberry jam on there. I would have, like you said, Absolutely. would have never it's thought just about enough. that. It's just enough to, to just dance on the palate, so to speak. And we're not done yet. Not done yet. So then now we're going to throw a little bit of the avocado crema right on top. Drizzle as much as you like. We're going to go a little salsa matcha. Where is David? He, this is his oh favorite. Oh my goodness, look I know. This. And then right on top with these two. So we do a bell pepper pico and then pickled red onions right on top for a little sweetness to it. Pickled red onions as well on that. I'll eat this I one. And you can, you can have this, this one, Mike. All right. So on this side, I had a chorizo and Oaxaca cheese mix. Super simple with the chorizo and the Oaxaca cheese. And we're going to do poppers, right? OK. So we had those working. Ooh, I'm going to stir this for yeah, you. Stir that up. Sorry, I might have got confetti oh, in here. Good. <laughs> Okay. We had those working. I love plating in different things, so we're going to plate right here in a cast iron skillet. Ooh. Well, okay, so chorizo and I see you, David. Yeah, yeah well, hockey cheese. <laughs> I'm going to give David some food here in a second. So what we're going to do is throw a little bit more of that cheese on there for me, Jim. Okay. So this idea, because, yeah. I mean, chorizo is great, but so, yeah, chorizo, in a jalapeno. Everybody loves chorizo, egg and cheese, chorizo and cheese. Yes. Now, do you want to grill those peppers? Because I know grilling so, yeah, will take so a little can, bit of the heat out, right? You can grill the peppers, uh, finish them in the oven if you want that smoke on the end. Um, it's really, really nice. So this can be an inside dish or it could be an outside dish. Okay. okay. All of this was kind of created so you can be outside, have fun, enjoy the fiesta. And then right here, we made our own chamoy. So it's a house chamoy. Chamoy. Right on top. The great thing about this chamoy, it can go on the skewers. And the white chocolate can actually get drizzled on the jalapeno poppers. Stop it! <laughs> yeah, white chocolate on there Look too. Look at you. Yes. So here you can. Let's, let's switch. Just trade. Yes, I'll let's trade switch. you. Okay, Jim, okay. Throw a little bit Okay. On. All right. I like how your sauces work for just about anything. Yeah. Here. So they're okay. meant to just take over the entire dish. That okay. is literally amazing. Awesome. That I, is so, I mean, those different flavors <laughs> all coming together that you piled on in there. And yeah. this. Yeah. White poppers are ready to roll. You ready to try I one? I do have forks and knives for you, oh, so okay. I came prepared today. Should we call David in to try one? Yeah, sure. All right. Well, for more information on Catch David, the Wave. David, I got one for you, sir. Here, Dobby. <laughs> Are you making food over here, man? <laughs> for more information, just go to salive.com. We're going to eat because Leo is feeding us. Still ahead on SA Live, bring the fiesta spirit to those who need it the most. Check out a special performance from a local dance and mariachi group. And next, with so many snacks you can't afford to keep moving, it's a powerful workout that you can do at home. But right now, here's a look at what happened on this weekend's Texas Eats. So we have everything here, a little seasoned, um, but you can kind of see, not too heavy. It's all kind of soaked a little bit with the oil. And uh, there's always gonna be a little bit of a fat strip on the back of these chops, these lolly, lollipop chops, a lot of people like to call them. And that fat strip is where we're gonna place them down on the fire first and get a nice really kind of chicharron kind of finish on that in the oil a little bit. <laughs> Grandma used to do. Yeah, just bringing it back, man, just bringing it back. 
I think like everyone, it's some tough trying times. You know, it's, it's really, uh, we're going through some difficult things as a nation and as families, no different. So, you know, it's, it's balancing a lot of that, but at the same time, um, we love our time together. So. And there you go. A little, oh. little crispy, little chicharroni, oil dripping off. I do this to the eye, but I love to, my wife loves a little bit of the, not a char, but a little crisp on the, you know, sear on uh, either side. So I'll do a pretty high heat and keep an eye on it, but it usually comes out to about a minute and a half on each side. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's time to get up and get moving. No matter what your favorite fiesta snacks are, they will probably start weighing you down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I yeah. like these. I like these medals, you know, if you don't get your behind in gear. Well, this is kind of, a, you know, that extra weight workout. However, you know, it's a quick and easy workout that's going to start to just burn off all the calories you get from all those tacos and margaritas. Take a look. Hey guys, Allison from Energy X Fitness here. We're going to show you a quick workout that you can do at home. Day one, we're starting with lower body exercises. All right, your first exercise, you just need something heavy like some laundry detergent. So I'm gonna grab my laundry detergent, just hold it up my chest and take squats. So sink down into your squat and come right back up. So this just adds a little bit of weight. If you don't have any laundry soap or anything heavy, you don't need it. You can do body weight. You can go ahead and take that same laundry soap, hold it by the handle, and I want you just to split your stance. So this is your single leg uh, deadlift. So bring that laundry soap nice and close to your leg. You're gonna shoot the other leg back behind and then come up. You can gently tap the ground for balance. Keep the core engaged, pulling it up. Once you got a few on one leg, switch hands, switch to the other leg. Extend through the heel and the head, keeping it nice and close to the body. Make sure you get both sides and then you're gonna move on. So we're just lunging on this one. You don't need anything. Or if you had a towel, you could put under your toe and slide into your lunge. But we're just gonna do it regular here. So taking it back into a lunge and coming back up. If you want more, you're gonna drive that knee to the top, sinking and driving. And then just like we did with our deadlift, we're gonna switch legs. So coming down, lunge and drive. Your last exercise is your glute bridge, and I want you to grab a roll of toilet paper. You're gonna bring it in between your knees, and I want you to think about holding it tight but not squishing it. So go ahead and come on down. Bring that toilet paper right between your knees. Hold it gently so your inner thighs engage. You're gonna squeeze and press the hips up and come right back down. Press through the feet, squeeze and lift the hips, right back down, and then hold it for a little bit extra. Get that long line from knee to shoulder and relax. Come on up and you're gonna do three sets of all those exercises, 12 reps of each. If you have a single leg exercise, you gotta do 12 on one side and 12 on the other. If you guys want more at home workouts like these, you can join us. There's details at energexfitness.com for live classes where we'll meet on Zoom. You'll get an access code before class or you can go on demand at vemeo.com backslash energyxfitness. Next on SA Live, a local dance group is bringing some much needed smiles. You get to catch a little bit of a very special performance. That's coming up. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you can't celebrate Fiesta without a little song and dance. The performers from Grupo Folklorico de Bendiciones and the Mariachis of Los Alezanes brought the Fiesta spirit to some seniors who could use a smile. They did four performances in multiple areas around the Independence Hill Retirement Community. And the seniors, they watched, they danced, they clapped. They had a fantastic time. And here's a few moments from a special day.
a great way to bring a little cheer. Oh, no. Hey, you know, it's funny you mentioned that because Tommy Hakes, who's one of the workers at the community, said, quote, thanks for everything. Our residents loved it. What a wonderful day in light of all that's going on these days. Aww. Glad they had a good time. Yes. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, flowers add joy to everything. How one local shop is paying it forward to healthcare workers with her beautiful arrangement. Plus, no need to go to the store if you can make your fiesta at home. We're throwing it back, and I'm learning what goes into making Coscaronas. That's all tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. Welcome back, everyone. Well, of course, we want to see, hey, there's a great setup. Andy is all decorated and ready to fiesta at home. And don't forget, because you can watch the uh, River Parade tonight, starting at seven o'clock, a rerun of last year's parade. Hey, before we go, get over here, Tony. Tony! Tony, Tony, Tony! Tony. Tony. <laughs> Woo! Because y'all think y'all are. <laughs> <laughs> you probably could have guessed. This is Tony Castro. He's been with us for how long? Since Case the beginning? 15 years. 15 years now? Mm -hmm. Wow, you were just a baby when you started, right? I was, not anymore. How old are you now? 40. Oh, the big 4-0. Oh, wow. 4 then you're going to need a lot <laughs> of this stuff. Yep, <laughs> it is the good stuff for me, Tierra. You can pick it up there. Thank there you, you go. Happy birthday, awesome. Tony. Happy birthday. Thank you.